Do they get a little competitive? Yes. <laughs> Although horse breeding isn't always the easiest job, Elaine Jones has held the reins for more than 30 years. I was always drawn to the little ones. Um, if it was a litter of puppies, I was always picking the runt. A uh, litter of kittens, I had to pick the tiny one. And I heard about miniature horses and I said, ooh, <laughs> I gotta do that. Elaine started the Jones Mini Winnie's company in 1980 and now she has more than 50 mini horses on her farm. Miniature horses barely stand taller than the stall door, generally ranging from 34 to 38 inches in height. But they should not be confused with ponies, as the mini horses still exhibit full-grown horse characteristics. Now, a lot of people say, well, why have a miniature horse? You can't ride them. Well, you can drive them. You can walk into nursing homes. Um, you know, there's a lot of them that use them for therapy. Miniature horses are like, you know, kind of like puppies, dogs. I mean, they really want your friendship, you know. So they are really friendly. I like mini horses. Jones is mini Winnie's. That's what I like. Whoa! Just walking through Elaine's house shows she loves the mini horses like her own family. We've even had birthday parties for Cinder. Um, and nobody wanted to eat the cake after she took her bite, but we had fun anyhow. You know, when you have horses in your blood, you can't get away from it. It's just really hard. Uh, you love them and you, you just don't know what else to do. I, I, if I didn't have the horses, I don't know what else I would do. I think I've come to realize that many horses make the best pets. In West Middlesex, I'm Nikki Pizar for the County Line.